Hello there, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to integrate ChatGPT API into your own website or onto a website. First step, if you need any help, you can go over to the API reference form on platform.openai.com and over here you have a brief but sufficient introduction on what you can do to get started. First step is obviously to install your Python bindings using these following commands and then install the official Node.js library. After that, you need to authenticate your API keys. ChatGPT or OpenAI provides two different types of keys, project keys and user keys. Just see which one is more suited to you and keep in mind that you should not share these keys in any circumstance. So just try not to expose it in any client-sided code, for example, browsers or apps, which the client can easily see. Each API request you send should have your API key inside it. Using this HTTP header, you can use this uh, authorization bearer open AI key and instead of this open AI key option, you're going to insert your key. For organizations and projects, you can follow these steps over here. So you have a few example commands, for example, their curl command or their Python package examples with open AI or their node.js package examples with open AI. You can also scroll down and there's a section teaching you how to make requests. This will be your basic code structure for each request you send to ChatGPT. You can read this. After that is your streaming. You can view this code again. It gives you two options in Python or in node slash TypeScript to show you what a typical streaming request looks like. You can scroll down again. And there's also an option for speech to text. You can go over to their separate audio area if you want to see that. But this is another category. You can also use this for transcription. I won't read all of this because it goes on for a while, but I can teach you how to get access to your own API key or how to generate one. First step, log in to openai.com. Continue with Google if you have an account or sign in with your email address. But if you don't have one, you can sign up too. Now, after logging in, you're going to go over to your API references and get your API keys from here. Click this and you're going to find your usage keys. If you don't already have one, you can create a new secret key and then you will use this key every time you send a request to OpenAI. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.